Hi, my name is uh, Brendan. I'm from the uh, IBM Center for Open Source Data and AI Technologies just down the street. Um, I'm going to be talking about the IBM Model Asset Exchange. Uh, what we're doing is we're taking uh, existing open source deep learning models as well as um, creating some of our own deep learning models and wrapping them into Docker containers to make consumption as simple as possible for people who don't necessarily care or want to learn about deep learning but just want like a REST API to a model. And I'm just going to show you a little bit about it. So we already have, uh, I think, about 10 or 12 models that we've published. And uh, running these models is super simple. All you have to do is uh, find one on our website. You can just search for uh, IBM Model Asset Exchange. And I'm going to be demonstrating the uh, object, detector, object detector model. And all the source code is published on GitHub. But the cool thing is you can just run it directly from Docker Hub. Docker. And you can find them. You can see all the models we already have published on Docker Hub. And I'm going to be doing the max object detector model. So Docker run it. And you have to specify a port. I've already downloaded this model, so it'll be cached. But uh, even if you hadn't downloaded this model, this one line of code would automatically download and run the model. So with the single line, you already have a, uh, a model running on a Flask server. So you can just go to localhost, port 5000, which is the port we specified. Uh, and you can run a demo. Uh, this demo, like I said, is an object detector. And here's a sample image we have. And it generates some bounding boxes. Uh, another cool thing we have is, uh, on top of this, just an example of what you can do with the Model Asset Exchange, uh, we created a web app. So this is also running in the Docker container. You can upload that same image. And it'll call that same API that we just called. And it will detect. And uh, this is all done in HTML5 directly in the Docker container. You can adjust the thresholds. So uh, it's crazy high. And I believe this is using uh, the ImageNet labels. Uh, we have a ton of other models, too. Uh, the image segmenter, this is a cool model we have. Uh, it can generate real-time segmentation maps. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the demo for this one tonight, but uh, we do have a demo where you can, uh, using live video, just uh, in real-time generate a segmentation map. Um, yeah, go ahead. So this model has uh, 24 different classes. Uh, this was wrapped from the uh, TensorFlow Research Repository. Like This was an existing open source model. Uh, I'm sorry, 20 labels. Uh, I have a Jupyter notebook that demonstrates this somewhere. So this is a Jupyter notebook that we have that calls the uh, Docker image using curl. It takes this input image. And then it can generate a segmentation map where it labels every different individual um, object in this image. And in real time, just return a, uh, a segmentation map. And you can do this on live video. Um, so like I said, we're just trying to make consuming open source models as simple as possible. And uh, we also have this same app actually running on IBM Cloud. Uh, the object detector running uh, some of these different models on Kubernetes containers and IBM Cloud. So you can just uh, run them online. All right, well, thank you very much.